Hello, Keith Rucker here at VengeMachinery.org. Well, guys, I got an interesting little project. This is going to be just a real quick video, hopefully. But uh, anyway, a uh, little bit of backstory here. This fellow here with me is Kevin Wood. Say hello, Kevin. Hello. And uh, Kevin is a friend of mine, does some, uh, uh, actually uh, worked for the railroad for many years, CXX and some other places before that, and specialized in what? Uh, uh, electrical, mechanical, and air brake systems on locomotives. I built training. Uh, but I started my career working on steam locomotives at the Stone Mountain Scenic Railroad, so I still love steam engines. Yeah, and he's actually down here helping us at the museum this week with some stuff on our steam locomotive, and uh, we got some things going on, but he was out here at the shop, and he brought with him a uh, old antique whistle. Tell him about the whistle. Uh, this is a Lunkenheimer three-chime whistle. In fact, hand me that chime. Yeah. The, uh, The uh, whistle, of course, it's kind of beat up, but uh, it's actually a good sounding whistle. We used to run this on steam engine uh, I worked with. So the problem with this whistle, part of it was the inside seat of it is, uh, was not in really good shape. There's no, uh, no valve for it. Uh, the valve is long since gone, and in fact, it wasn't in very good shape. So it doesn't matter. So I got to manufacture a new valve. Well, part of the problem is, is the valve seat on the inside of this is cut, uh, so steam will cut. So we, what we had to do was uh, figure a way to uh, make it a uh, new seat in it. Well, Keith had this uh, device here. We figured <laughs> how to make this thing work just right. But this is a uh, valve seat grinder or valve seat it's a, yeah, tool. Dresser or whatever you dresser. want to call it. So this tool has this hollow stem. And the hollow stem also, as soon as I pull this loose, has a uh, turning rig and it goes up to a smaller diameter extension with the cutting tool on the top. Now, and it came with a whole bunch of, a whole tray of different cutting tools. So these have 45s on it for like a valve seat, and there's also flat ones here for a flat valve seat. Uh, anyway, this th actually this this tool uh, was a gift to me from Dale Derry. He had picked it up somewhere, and I, I know some of you guys watch Dale Derry's uh, YouTube channel as well. Um, and I had never I'd never tried to use it before, but when Kevin brought this in there, I said, you know, I got a tool that that dresses valve seats. And so anyway, Kevin got it out and figured it out. And we're going to dress a valve seat. So, the way this thing goes together, you've got your collet up here that notice the outside are threads. So these will clamp on the inside of the of the valve uh, housing itself. This tube slides, and and the bottom is a set of threads, and you use this to adjust uh, going in and out with the grinding tool. It goes together such as this. Spin it a couple times, get it set. Now, the advantage of this is I can slide this tube as much as I want to to adjust it and tighten it. This is the extension that I have already put the uh, uh, cutting bit or a seating bit on. Run it in tight. It doesn't have to be massively tight, so it's not like I'm... Um, but you get it tight enough, obviously you don't want it to do something untoward. So the idea, it's got it sliding this way so you can set it down on the valve. It's like a three-jaw chuck. Those, uh, the, the little uh, threaded pieces, you expand them in and out to fit whatever size you want, but they're all uh, threaded for uh, the, the different thread pitches for the different diameters that you would use on these valve seats. And when you thread that on there, it's running perfectly square up and down uh, with the, the valve seat, so it should grind that or cut that new valve seat in there at uh, perfectly square. This is a little bit aggravating because we got this bowl on here and it's really kind of getting in the way, so we can't get it, those threads down in there quite as far as you would ideally do. So this is kind of a difficult setup.
Yeah, took a bite. Go down a little bit more. Yep. Go down a little bit more. Making about an eighth of a turn each time with the, adjusting the height. I, it's fine threads, so. Back off a little bit and just kind of galling it. I think we ought to take a look at it at this point. Okay. I don't want to cut it too deep. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right. You can look down in there and you see that shiny ring. That is the new valve seat that we've cut in here. And uh, it looks pretty darn good. You can still see right over here, there's a little spot where the steam had cut it. We've got most of that out. I'll leave it up to Kevin if he wants to take a little bit more over there or not. But I think that that's, will seal up as it is. Uh, but anyway, we got a nice new valve seat in there. Now cool. we got to make a new valve. Now we got to make a new valve. That'll be another project. So there you go, guys. A quick demonstration of this uh, valve seating tool. Like I said, I had never used it. It's been sitting in a box. It came in a nice little wooden box. I think it's missing a few pieces, but we had what we needed to get this job done. And uh, Dale, thank you. Uh, you probably want it back now. Can't have it back. <laughs> <laughs> Too many whistles we got to yeah, get for that. But yeah, this is actually something that, I, that I've been wanting to get out and figure out. And uh, Kevin kind of messed around with it and figured it out for me. So next time I need to use it, I'll know how. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.